I'm going to show you all how to cook a big old burger. I'm using, check this out my friends, what am I using? Ground chuck, 80% lean. Ground chuck, 80% lean, 20% fat. Nice. These are third pound burgers. I bought them, I think it was like $5.49 at Food City. And let's throw them on the grill. I'm using my electric griddle. Let's throw them on the grill. Turn my griddle up, it's up not, it's not quite hot enough, I would've heard it sizzling. Place that on the grill. And the reason I'm cooking all four of these, they go out of date tomorrow. Uh, I'm really not even that hungry. And even though I do food videos, I really don't eat that much food, my friends. A lot of people want me to do all these reviews on these restaurants. Well, a lot of times I only eat like one item and drink one beverage, like a tea and a hamburger, or a steak and baked potato in a, in a place of tea. I don't eat that much, because I'm already overweight. I'm 5'6", weigh about 225, so I need to lose weight. You know, I've got a big arms, big chest. This and that, that sizzling. That's the sound of goodness. Can you smell what the big O's cooking? All right, and let me tell you something, my friends. What do I season my meat with? Oh, yeah. Would you like to know? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Tony Sassery's original Creole seasoning. Great. Great on everything. See that in red? I bought this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Uh, eight ounce, this same can would cost you about $3.49 at Walmart. $2.79 to $3.49. You can get it at the Dollar Tree where everything's a dollar. Eight ounces, a big can. Let's go ahead and season these bad boys. Put a little seasoning on. That's what I'm talking about. Can you smell what your friend the Big O's cooking from your neck of the woods? You tell me. I'm cooking third pound burgers. I'm cooking ground chuck. I don't I don't cook none at 70%, 70 percent lean, mostly fat. Close it back up. And by the way, I wiped this hand that I used to lay the burgers on there with, I wiped it with a sanitizing cloth so it is clean. I do I do not cross contaminate. Let's close this up which I did, close it up, put it over here on the stove out of the way. And I turn this up and actually, once I get the burgers on there, I turn my grill up to about three, or slightly past three, about three and a quarter. And that's what I just did. And I like to t use Texas toast. And if I use Texas toast, I put it in my toaster. This and that season, I'll be back shortly. It's the Big O Show. Don't go nowhere. Do you like hamburgers? Leave it in the comments down below. I like to cook at least 80% ground chuck. Ground chuck's at least 80%. 70% beef is too much fat. Can you smell what the big O's cooking from your neck of the wood? Oh my God. It's a sizzling. I see a little smoke. It's no joke. It's a big old burger. I'm cooking the big old burger. Get out of here. I know what you're thinking. Get out of here, big O, with that big old burger. The thicker the meat, the longer it takes to cook. Always remember that. I'll be back shortly. All right, my friends. I use a wooden spatula. Yeah. Right, I may hold it down. It's the big O show over here. My baby's getting loud. My three-year-old daughter. Oh, well. Hang in there. It's the big O show. We're going to make this work, baby. Look at her. Oh, man. Look at that beautiful burger. That's what I'm talking about. Third pound burgers. That's bigger than a quarter pound. That's bigger than a quarter pound. A third pound is .333 pounds. A third pound burger means three of them equals .999, basically one pound, three burgers. One third pound burgers. You have to go somewhere like Hardy's to get thick burgers like this. But, but, but we're at home, we're at the Big O Show. Don't tell nobody. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're new, please share my videos. Help make my channel grow. Help make my channel successful. If you're new, like I said, subscribe. Hit the notification bell but button, the bell. I think it's down in the lower right-hand corner. Share my videos. Leave comments. I love to converse. I love to talk to my viewers. It's the Big O Show. Oh, yeah. 
got it a little bit too high. Let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. When it's a popping, you know it's rocking. Look at there. Can you smell what the big old cooking? I've already flipped them once. It's about time to flip them again. Uh, roughly, you want to cook them about eight to ten minutes, according on what you get. You have your temperature set on. Keep in mind, the thicker the meat, the longer it takes to cook. I'll be back when I get ready to flip them again. It's the Big O Show. Can you smell what that Big O's cooking? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh yeah. Press my meat. Listen. Oh yeah. It's rocking and rolling in my at my house, my apartment. Can you smell what I'm cooking, my friend? You tell me, that's a real question. It's time It's time to turn these beautiful burgers again. This will be the second time. I flipped them one time. This will be the second time. I'm using my finger on top. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Don't try this at home, people. This is the big old show. Look at them beautiful burgers. Would you just look at it? Just look at them. They're prettier than I am. I cook my meat in well. I don't like them pink or raw. They're done. I'm gonna turn this off. Leave them, let them sit on here for about another minute and I'm gonna take them off. They're done. Perfect color. Look at her. Look at her. Perfect color. Medium brown. Char royal looking color. That's what I'm talking about. Look how beautiful that burger is. Alright, it's time to get them off. You can use napkins to lay your burgers on, but what I try to do when I'm taking them off, I use a restaurant style platter. I guess you can see it, oval, oval shape. Take the burger, I push it up against the corner, I tilt the burger and let the grease drain off of it. Can you see that right there, how I tilt it? Slide the spatula up under it and tilt the burger straight up and down. And let as much grease as possible drain off the burger. I have laid the burgers onto my restaurant style platter. Look how beautiful they are. Moist. Ground chuck. I'm going to take a Granger County tomato that was uh, grown right here in East Tennessee. Slice it up. Cut the crown of it off. Lay it to the side. One slice. I like my meaty, uh, tomatoes kind of medium sliced. About like that right there. That'll do it for right now. I'm using Texas toast, which is thick sliced bread. Just take and drop it down in this toaster. Push this button on the front of it. It'll pop up here in a minute. Right here on the big old show. See them glowing red? The toast just popped up. See how it's lightly brown, lightly toasted. That's the way I like my Texas toast. See how thick it is? Lay it over here on my pl uh, plate, my saucer. And I'm going to use mayonnaise. My favorite, well, I like Duke's mayonnaise, which has been around for a long time. I like Heaven's, I like Blue Plate, and I also like Kraft mayonnaise. <sighs> Look at that thick mayonnaise. Oh, hope you can see it good. But, but I, I don't put a, you don't want to put a lot because mayonnaise has a lot of cholesterol. You know, it's made from eggs. I like to put, I don't know, a light medium coating of mayonnaise on, on that side right here. Let's grab one of these big old burgers, 30 pound burgers. Let's place it on the Texas toast. Take a thick slice of tomato. Make sure you got your burger right in the center. Place this on top. I'm using deli style yellow mustard on the big old burger. Can you smell what the big old's getting ready to eat from your neck of the woods? Am I making you hungry? Hunt's ketchup, ketchup, no preservatives. Don't want to overdo it, it'll run all over you. Let's take the remaining piece of Texas toast, the top. Let's take a little mayonnaise, if you please. Look at it, the smooth, creamy mayonnaise. Dukes, that's what I'm talking about. On the big old show. A little bit more mayonnaise on it. A little mayonnaise. Alright. 
Make sure you place all, see that's pouring in the Texas toast? Place them the same direction. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's called the Big O One th Third Pound Burger. Right here on the Big O Show. Dick's mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup. And I season it with none other than Tony Sashri's Creole seasoning. And what I like about these electric riddles, they wipe off very easily, clean very easily. None stick griddle. And sometimes I do use sheet cheese, but I might uh, I have problems with a high uh, uric acid level in my blood, which can cause gout. So I really don't eat really, you know, I do food reviews, I really don't eat that much meat. A lot of times when I'm doing food reviews, I do not finish the entire product. I'm going to take the big, the Texas toast on top and press it down with my hand. It's pretty, not, not as hard as I press it, but firm. Smash it down about halfway. Let's take this same knife I used to cut my tomatoes with. Let's cut it right in half, diagonal. So it'll look like a sandwich. You feel me? Right here on the big old show. Oh God, would you just look at the goodness. Just look at it. That's a big old burger. Let me pull it apart. Be patient. Anything that's good is worth being patient for. Now, let me pick it up. Look at this beautiful burger. Now that's a one, pound, one third pound big old burger. Let's do a taste test. Bear with me, my friends. Try not to shake everybody everywhere. Look how thick this burger is. Just look at it. Taste test. Big old burger. Big old one third pound burger. I hit the big old show. Mmm. Oh my God. It is good. I gave it a 10. Oh, big old one third pound hamburger. Oh my God. It's good. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, I've said it already. If you're new, I appreciate everybody watching the Big O Show. Eat more Big O Burgers. Make a burger like the Big O did. At least 80 grain, 80 percent ground chuck. Don't get to 70 percent lean, the cheap hamburger to make a burger. Get some good burger, at least 80 percent lean. And I really don't like it higher than 80 percent lean because it's like if you get 90 percent lean, which doesn't hardly have any fat in the burger. It basically has no flavor. 90% lean or 95% lean. 80% lean to me is the best tasting, tasting burger. Big O's out. I love you, my viewers. I'll see you in the next video. I've got stuff to eat. Bum, 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 bum. It's the Big O Show.